Hello again guys, Typhus here, and uh, last time we finished up with getting the tube fuse check, so now we'll uh, head out back to Lowtown. We don't actually have the tube fuse, so we can't actually progress with the, the section of the game. So we'll be heading back, we've got the airship access key, so we'll be able to do a whole lot of flying for free. So now we are back to Rabanasta. And apparently we are back to the really slow loading. Interesting. But now we head back out here. Uh, and I will say that the first port of call will be doing the airship checks, which normally I would do way, way earlier. But because I got, uh, hello treasure. You're the only treasure in this area. Then it's your handkerchief. Might have to be the handkerchief that uh, Barthia gives to Penelo. But as I was saying, because uh, normally I would do the uh, shop checks for all the places you can access via the airship network, but because I got the access to additional party members super duper early, well, you know, might as well get the party members. Alright, so we just need to head to the Moogling, head to the airship. And I went and looked at the bestiary entry for the fire main as to what on earth it's doing in the uh, watery sewers. And honestly, even the bestiary entry doesn't give a particularly good explanation. It's uh, some sort of ancient fire spirit. Uh, its purpose was that it appeared because humanity started using fire for war and now it's just rumoured to uh, live in the Garrus Life sewers for some reason. All right, let's go to Arcades first. And I will be going via a private airship, just because I want to check out what the shop is in the airship. All right, let's, don't need to see the airship scene. Now, what music do we get in the airship? It'd be cool if it was actually an airship track. Nope, FF7. All right. And the obligatory cup. One of the Coop Moogle and Seek wondering where to go. Now that they're uh, finished taking in the sights. So they intend to rest. Cabins are right through the door. Alright. So let's see what our work. Ooh, traveller in front of me. What, what have we got in the shops today? Bastard sword? Save the queen, that's a pretty good sword. It's a bit out of my price range. And no one can currently uh, use it. Mm, that's tempting, the bastard sword. So white mage. Ooh, flat damage taken by 30%. That's pretty good. It's out of my price range again, but that's worth remembering. And it's got good defense as well. Well now. And the rest of that's not very interesting. Immune to Regan and Float? Eh, uh, no. I'll oh, get those, that's an upgrade for Fran. Because she's still using the basic bow and uh, having potential KO instantly is nice. And some moats. Now, do I have anything off to sell off? No, I don't. Because I sold off to that guy there. Now, we'll just check up here in case something has spawned in the uh, Sight and Grat chest. And uh, nope, Sight and Grab Chest has nothing to be spawned. Oh well. It would have been funny trying to uh, find the invisible chest with no uh, explanation marker there. Alright, and then we'll progress through the lounge. Pick up the check from the uh, beginning of the Anne side quest. Won't have any key items in here, but it could have some good loot. What is it you want? We're in the middle of a personal conversation. Rather important. Get lost, why don't you? Randy! He's a passenger, mind your tongue. Yes, he is very Randy. I apologise for my companion's behaviour. We have cabins available if you would like to rest until we make port. Alright, who's this bloody Randy? Who's clearly harassing the poor hotel staff. No one, truly. Just a <clears throat> gentleman 
and I use the term loosely, who does not know when enough is enough. Enough is enough? Ha! Will you listen to her? Anne, I tell you, you defy all reason. What sane woman would decline a proposal of marriage from a man of my birth, stature, incomes, and obvious charms? Well, obvious to his mirror, probably. Can your mother really mean all that to you? I've told you a thousand times you must forget those people back in old Arcades. Forget my own mother. The mother who raised my sisters single-handedly after my father died in the war? I would never marry a person like you. How many times must I tell you? You seem to share your sister's dislike of the noble house Lochelle. But what grudge could you possibly harbour against us? You and your brothers are among the most vulgar men I have ever met. And I've known many vulgars. Using your father to find out where we work? Yeah, dude's a total stalker. Speaking of work, I had better get back to it. If you would kindly take your leave, I have a proper passenger to attend to. Yes, yes, your <laughs> passengers. An idea comes to mind. Might I introduce, interest you in a game of sorts? What manner of game? Last year, for your mother's name day, you and your sisters each sent her a gift you'd found along the routes you work, yes? What of it? This year, I propose that you each gather a flower for your mother, and that this boy here informs each of your sisters of the arrangement. If he can deliver the message to every one of them, my brothers and I will abandon all hope of marriage to you and your sisters. Absurd! You expect a perfect stranger to willingly go from airship to airship delivering this message of yours? Mm, she has a point. Six ships, six si sisters? Quite a lot of work for someone we don't know. Better to forget the whole business. And me? I'll begin making the necessary preparations for our wedding. I'm sorry to have gotten involved in all this, sir. If you do see my sisters on the other ships, perhaps you could show them a letter for me. They're chief stewards like myself. And then we get a variant. Oh, hello! Manufactured another site. Well, that was, uh, worth talking to her. I didn't think a key item check could be in that one there, but I guess, well, strictly speaking, I don't need all three of the nether sites. Alright. And the, uh, stalker buggers off. But we don't actually have to complete this, because this is considered one of the annoying checks, and I have the annoying checks turned off. Because, yes, technically it's very, very easy to do, but it's just a pain in the butt going from, uh, Airship to airship. I don't care about that vampire fine but fang, but that nether site's pretty nice. Hmm, what's this track? I do not recognize this one. Oh no, this is from 12. Ah, it's, it's... I think it's one of the opening stings for one of the areas. So progress through the streets of Arcades. So because that, there are a few bits of music that are um, not looping tracks. They're like opening stings for like area intros and that. It's only for the 12 pieces. So with those ones, they play briefly, and then you have just dead silence for the rest of the air, for the rest of the area. All right, so now we'll do our obligatory collect uh, the three chops and do the three checks. All right, determine researcher. What have you? Time to leave. So, um, you are not. You are the starlet one. Your quest giver is lady over here. Faded star. No, I don't want to talk to you. Shoot. Ah, come on. Faded star. You're literally right next to each other's guys. Yeah. And take the past stardom. Alright. 
I am not going through all these uh, dialogues. A wizard's hat, that could be good. All right, and you are the ex-researcher. So, were you... Determined researcher, uh, you might be... Might be the one for the ex-researcher. All right, ex-researcher. Yeah, you got a lot of dialogue to go. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, so that's her da his daughter. And bundle of stolen articles. Okay, so if I do get the clan primer, I can complete the Orthros hunt. Uh, you are faded star. Yes, you are faded star. Oh, gentry. Worried husband, halved wages. I know where she li likes to live. So she likes to live down this end. This is the only area that I have everyone memorized. <laughs> Pretty much where they love to live. Alright, you materialist like we're woman, you get your high wages halved. You give an antidote, well I guess you're stingy. An avid researcher. Now you are, I believe, senior researcher. You're actually a Pretty, pretty sure you're a chick, which I never realised um, before, so you should be... I think you're the avid. Yep, you're the av right one, I think. Nope, wrong one. There's a couple that are similar there, and you will be the town crier one. Gentleman on locker, yep. It's nice when you have NPCs that are really easy to tell apart. Like you. Uh, you look like you're from Bougerva in that outfit, I think. You look the Bougerban fashion. Alright. And we get a pine wood chop. Okay. So we just need to find a couple more NPCs. You researcher. Okay, so you're the one that needs the words of encouragement. Uh, words of encouragement chick has wandered off over here. Yep. Yes, it's only half a million gil. Which I assume if you are uh, only a million gil or so. So I guess if you're going gil as a like Japanese yen conversion, that's like a hundred thousand, right? Yeah, that honestly is not actually that that expensive for a piece of research equipment. Like uh, gentlemen, onlooker, you are done. So I just need to find one more NPC wandering around. Uh, cool, you are that one. And researcher. Alright, so where is the last NPC that I have failed to find who was probably wandering off in a corner? Not you. You? Nope, you're the worried husband with the wages, and you're the ex-researcher. Nope. Ah, Acadian Gentry, you're the missing one. Yep. The athletic woman from a long lines of gamesmen. Which will be the avid re well not Yes, the avid researcher. The bookworm. Basically. And you are hiding over here. Alright. And now we have our last pine wood chop. Must remember to check the uh, chops here. What have we got to sell here? A yake? A one hit mobilize. That's nice. Uh, can someone use katanas? I think Fran can use katanas. But I have no money for it, so that's a shame. Crossbow. Stuff the Magi. That's nice. Mathuna, that's a legendary gun. That's not going to be very useful. Uh, good defense on that. Extra strength, unaffected by knockbacks, but I've already got that anyway. And uh, more knockbacks. It's, uh, nothing much interest there. Head bolts, eye drops, not a bar, rust, disable, and yep, okay. Arcades has rubbish shops. Uh, 
And whilst we're here, we'll uh, quickly do the check that's in the Dreadclaw Laboratory. Now, I can't remember if, uh, I believe Upper Arcades has a different music track, so that should mean the music changes. Or not. We still get the uh, silence of nothingness. Oh well. And remember to tap the save crystal. We have one teleport stone which we got off an enemy steel randomly, which is nice. So I have an emergency teleport. Alright, we know where to go. Well, let's go. And then we get more unskippable cutscenes. Onwards, upwards. There's a waltz track. That's nice. And da -da. head north, past the uh, pile of dead bodies. Which is totally, yeah, this track doesn't suit the area. But it's a nice track, I like it. Right. And we would like to go up. Put this right here, yeah. I don't have the overlay map. Because I don't think anything, any treasures can spawn in this area. And going to the not highest floor. It's like, at the moment, once you've done this check, there's no point in going further. And even in the um, updated version of the mod, there's still no point, as far as I'm aware, of going further than uh, doing this, the check in this section. Because the boss for this area doesn't actually provide a um, check, it doesn't have a clan primer check, it doesn't drop any loot, so it doesn't have anything or any way to give a reward. Alright. That's a perfectly timed position there, Fran. Yeah, let's get to skip. It's just people walking into a room and not the most interesting of cutscenes. Oh, faith! Nice. No one can use it, but that's nice. Six hundred gil. I'll take the gil, and I'll take the faith. Oh, and I will take the teleport back. And there's a really weird anti bin track in this area. All right, we'll head back to Arcades, and we get our little nice little sting, musical sting for a little bit. So we're making some progress so far. We've got uh, one piece of magicide. Well, nethicide. Yeah, magicides. So that's one down. Alright, when we are back to Nilbasa. I think I would think that's how you pronounce it. We know that it's Chernobyl, and then it's Nilbasa. And then you obviously there is our old Arcades, which is the uh, or the place in ruin. I don't think I'll go visit our old arcades as yet, because uh, I don't have any teleport crystals. Although the shop in arcades, old arcades, could have teleports. But I will, for the last bit for this one, go pay a visit to Rujerba, and I reckon I'll do the Marilith hunt there. So there's something slightly more interesting than uh, extended shopping trips. And talking to uh, overly enthusiastic suitors in airships. Alright. And just enjoy the scenery of Arcades. There's just so much detail in the world that if you have the camera uh, on the more top down perspective, you just never see it. Like all the old buildings and that, and it's like. Artificial, really is artificial canyons and terraces that they've created here. It's a, just a very pretty world. 
And we'll see. We will take our, our nice shiny private stroll to go visit uh, Bujerba because Arcades and Bujerba don't. I don't. There's no uh, route between the two because uh, they're not. At, well, plot wise, they are sort of on not on speaking terms. Alright, off to Bujerba. The Marquis is technically neutral, but he does do a few things which slightly might annoy the Empire during the plot. Oh, Costa del Sol. That's a nice... Uh, yeah, this track works for this area. It's a nice sort of chill, summer, tropical, breezy vibe. And Vigera is pretty tropical and breezy. And across the Sky Bridge. So, so many NPCs just chilling. Some with their own little dialogue, if you really want all that lore. This uh, game must have had so much to translate. It's ridiculous. The tra yeah, the translation effort. I mean, I know more modern games would have a way more spoken dialogue. But I took the wrong turn. Down here. But the amount of text dialogue in this one is, yeah, pretty impressive. And we go take the fork at the wall, A junction. Say hello to the provisioner. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, Murasame. <laughs> That's a bit cheaper. Uh, not bad. It's a pretty good pole arm, and Van can use them. Uh, healing rod, on hit silence, long. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, nope. Shepherd's Bolero. Mm. Nope, none of those are interesting. Ooh, equip Faith. <coughs> oh, yeah, so that's, I already have one for Panello. Uh, uh, high Potion, Echo Herbs. I'll take a couple of those. Oh, shock. Van can learn that. I'll be saving up to get that. And uh, while I remember, I'll equip the improved assassin's arrows. Alright, let's see what we have in the Lusu mines. This. Sounds like final boss theme. Oh yes, this is three. I'm pretty certain this is the three final boss battle. Alright, we have two treasures in here. It has a really long opening section to it. And then it uh, then it drops. My favourite of the boss, um, final boss scenes, but not a bad one. Alright, saving is dead. Yep, there it goes. Alright, this is the Pixel Remaster one. I haven't heard this version, and dang, it's good. Right, take um yeah, we'll just see if there's a chest spawned over this way. And there is one. And a pile of skeletons as well. Oh well. Bone Freggy. Ooh, that's cute. Alright, I'll be able to afford shop for Van. That means I have something for him to aim at in his grit. Nice, and then he'll probably wind up with the um uh, amulet? Okay, amulet that Canelo has. So he'll end up being, yeah, definitely a magic attacker. It's kind of annoying that um, one person has all of the offensive capabilities. He's got the best weapon at the moment, but if I save up enough, I can get um, a katana for it was Fran who used that grid. So that'll be good. 
I know where I can get upgraded weapons. Did not spot the chest on the way out, so it'll be in the other side section. We got any chests here? We got two. Oh, hi, Den Trap. Okay, is either of them going to spawn on the side? Nope, uh, oh, there it is. They blend in well. Red cap. That's a piece of armor, that's light armor, and Vaan can learn light armors, and so can Penelo actually, so that yeah. could be good. So I'll have to remember to take the uh, alternate route on the way back. Damn, this track is good. Alright, Marilith, you're not going to be much of a threat. Two treasures in here though. I'll get those when I do later areas of the section. Alright. Well, let's get rid of that bat before. Nope. It's by stealing. So that Fran doesn't continuously uh, try and steal from the bat. Uh, alright. Okay, cool. She's still doing plenty of damage. Uh, for a moment, I was worried this thing might uh, be immune or resistant to Earth because Svan's weapon is Earth Elemental. Alright, you guys uh, stick on healing duty. Vaan, you can just stick on um, attacking duty. I don't have anyone horrendously OP. And this thing has protect. It will eventually fail. I don't have any way of getting rid of said protect, so... Nidhogg, you're just gonna have to... deal with it. Of course, Nidhogg being a famous serpent from... Uh, Norse mythology, with a that's a very impressive set of fangs you got there, mate. Just uh, continuing on. Shame he is immune to uh, death, but uh, he'll eventually get beaten down. Penelo's attack animation just. Looks so weird. Just spinning out. She has the most enthusiastic attack animations, I think. Compared to, like, Barsh, who has the most reserved. But practical. And realistic. You can tell who's more grounded as a character. And Fran, Fran, you just, uh... Oh, no, oh, you got KO'd. Uh, Phoenix down. No, not with Vaan. I don't want you to miss out on the XP this late. It's almost dead. Alright, you're gonna die soon. And of course you're gonna be... Uh, you survive? Good, good. Oh, you have silence. Cool. Well, you're not doing any damage with magic, so... Or healing, so... Good luck, Snakey. Come on, Vaan, you can do it. He has a tiny bit of HP left. Barely registering. Just a bit more. Jesus, dude, six hit combo, wow. That's a, that's impressive. Shame it wasn't my guys doing that though. All right, well, I mean, they can just stuck in there and stay in a healing loop for as long as they can out heal his damage. They got pretty good HP. Dude, your HP is like... Oh, I'm nuts. Alright, let's Phoenix down. I know I could buy them, so I'm not too fast about... Okay, please, please die already. Please die, please die. It's gonna be close. Alright, uh, Sim, uh, you can't use magic, so Phoenix down on you. Oops. Get back to you. Alright, down to one healer. This is slightly sketchy. Come on, you've got like no HP left. I guess because I don't have um, <laughs> very good physical armor, because everyone's using the very base uh, 
a armor because I want the uh, extra LP and the uh, armor that I have gives double LP so yeah I'll take that all right one dead snake at least Trenello who has uh, faith on uh, he's on healing duty all right let's just rest up and uh, heal up a bit So most things should not be able to kill me on the way home. There's the treasure. Spawned on that side. Six fluted pole. Pretty sure I have one of those. I do not. And that's an upgrade and you can learn that. Nice. And what was that red cap like? Alright, weak to water and raises magic power when HP critical versus zero MP. Well, that's going to go on someone else. Because if Vaughn's going to be uh, a magic dealer, having zero MP cost for his spells is going to be pretty good. Alright, just run away from the enemies. Yeah, stingy, you didn't drop a treasure. Well, the uh, battle music for this area was pretty appropriate in the end, given how um, that. Uh, Nidhogg flight was uh, more clutch than I uh, expected it to be. Ha! I guess we've only got one person who has a uh, strong weapon. Yeah. The rest have got, I suppose, technically subpar weapons for this area. Because they're only still rocking their uh, base game, uh, yeah, basic weapons, so. Oh well. The guys got out of it, having two healers. On perma heal duty, <laughs> essentially. Right. Was good in the end. This is such a good track. The Final Fantasy X final boss theme, that is the best one. And that's probably the one I have played the most on Theat Rhythm. Which, by the way, I am very definitely looking forward to when it comes out uh, early next year. And now back to the chill vibes of Costa del Sol. Alright. And now we've defeated the Nidhogg. Glorious days. Hoping to reopen the mine. Well, that little thing was blocking the mines. Ew, longbow. Ooh, and a cactus flower. Well. I guess uh, next episode we are flying to Nalbana and uh, doing the Cactus Quest and Great Serpent Skin. That one is a... I'm pretty sure that is a guaranteed um, reward. No. Yeah, that one is guaranteed for some reason. It's That one's not randomized. Yeah, anyway, we're safely out of the mines and out of time. Uh, I have uh, done a little bit of uh, gridding for the guys that I have in my main party, just mostly at the moment giving them extra HP, uh, and because I, before I didn't have anything to go aim for, but now I do. I'll have shop for Van, and I'll have a sword for Fran, which I will hopefully be able to purchase both of those. Uh, until next time, good luck guys, and time to type this out.